You guys, Dude. I can't believe it. It's like, you know, I, you know, we had a guy come over and talk, tell us about NFTs. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was like, is that a thing? But now it's incredible. We've sold out. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. First and one. now we're going to release more. Yeah. Right? And it's like, you guys have to get on it because it's like, it's happening. Um. So, so a couple months ago, someone from Legacy came up to us yeah. and pitched us this idea. And at that time, it's sort of like... I balked at it. <laughs> you did, yeah. Yeah, he, we, it's a kind of like... <coughs> Uh, a You're new right? concept. I'm coughing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a new concept to you know wrap your head around, yeah. but it's really cool. We released 500. Yeah. They're sold out. The first one was just a Founders Club, Club NFTs, yeah. right? Yeah. And um and we're gonna launch our very first story based NFT. Ooh. Oh my god! I've had a chance to take a peek, and they are so freaking cool. I peek a look one time <laughs> as well. You know what I mean? And they're really good. Yeah, guys. So actually, season one uh, that we're gonna be dropping is actually the first story one, like Kalila mentioned. Um, so Bobby and Kalila kind of like you know you know we got this new place, new studio. There's art everywhere, but they want to add another piece of art to the room. And guess what? This is your chance to get your artwork on the wall. So make sure you head over to uh, our Legacy Tiger Belly page and um, get ready for the drop. That's yeah. really cool. Season one drops today at 12 p.m. Pacific time. There will only be a limited quantity that people can claim. So do not sleep on this, guys. Guys, season one drops once again at 12 p.m. Pacific time. There will only be a limited quantity that people can claim. So do not sleep on it. Don't be like the other thousand people that missed out on the first 500. Problem. I don't know. Why are we matching anymore. for starters? We're not matching. Is that the same you kind shirt? of are your beret. Same, same shirt, it's just different colors. <laughs> I know, but it's not matching. Yeah, but same you guys brand. have you guys have matching color head accessories. We share clothes. We do share clothes. Head yeah. to toe. Yeah. It also happens as a couple. I think you end up like dressing like each other. Well, um, do you share things with your partner? Yeah. Like do you share underwear? Well, let's get in. I don't want to. Let's start and then yeah, yeah. Get into Okay. It. Because I don't believe that mm -hmm. he. He's a weird looking dude. <laughs> no, I mean, he's like, you know what kind of white he is? He's the kind like um, there will be blood in the sense that like. There will be blood is exactly. He's got like a Paul crooked Dano? spine. Yeah. Right. He's the kind of guy that a white dude that would be in a ditch somewhere with a fucking pickaxe. <laughs> he makes when my husband makes eye contact with me, he does not blink. Like it's like yeah, yeah. terrifying. Oh, it's a <laughs> it's a, he's a terrifying. He's a terrifying guy. face. Yeah, yeah. But he's also like. <laughs> He's just, there's nothing, he's so funny to me because he's like, sh he's shaped like a butler from the 30s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like he has a big. Well, let's, let, don't get, let's get, let, I want to talk yeah. about Andy, but All right. go ahead, start. Fuck. Oh, also, uh, by the way. So unfair to him. He's going to be so upset. I don't give upset. a fuck. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he's going to be so mad. I've wanted to say this to him <laughs> for so long. Me too. And, and I haven't had the balls to. Great. But I really want to talk about him because yeah. he's a wretched <laughs> looking human. <laughs> Just, uh, just like you know, what I mean? always tell him, like, get your bird face away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's also looks like he's a hundred. Yeah, no, but he's, he, or he's he could be six. Man, yeah, he's yeah, a sickly man. Yeah, but he's also very uh, has innocent eyes and yet also <laughs> harrowing. Yeah, they're butlers haunting. from the nineteen thirty. <laughs> What? Yeah. Uh, bro, bro, bro. <laughs> that is my husband. How is that not your husband? That's my husband. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's your look husband. Up, look up Andy Haynes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I swear to God, that's my husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, look, yeah, anyway, he let, looks like a manservant. Don't say perfect. anything until I bring your name up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's him. Look the at, same look photo. At the, uh, look at him. Look at him. That's him. Oh, my God. Look how, look at, it looks like I married him to cure him of cancer. <laughs> that is, that's All right. crazy. All right, go. Bye. All right, welcome. You don't have to even do the countdown. Welcome to another episode of Tiger Belly. I am your captain, Bobby Lee, and um, I really am grateful that we have this medium to share with our folks and our, and our fans and to connect. And I really bless you and take care, and I love you, and I enjoy all of it. Um, I really am grateful. I'm full of gratitude, and I'm full of... Um, I just need to tell you guys, you know, I was at a um, taco place, Poquito Moss, Oh, oh nice. what a disappointment. Yesterday, and two girls came up to me. Uh -huh. They were in their masks, and they go, oh, we live, we, we knew that we would um, 
uh, run into you eventually. Mm -hmm. And I go, oh, cool. I wor where's Andrew? Uh -huh. So they wanted to see Andrew. <laughs> All right. They go, where's Andrew? We think he's cute. We have crushes on him. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But still, I get, you know what I mean? I feel like you're a very crushable person. I'm unfuckable. <laughs> what does that say about me, though? I don't know what. You got to get your eyes checked because. <laughs> I love a good boiled egg. <laughs> that's that's it. <laughs> that, why are you laughing so hard at that? That was, really, that was so hard. What do that I eat really every day? Good. What do I eat every boiled day? Boiled egg. Real? How many? Like nine like of six. them. Like nine of them a day. Well, you're just one of them. I'm just one of them. You're my wow. one of my little daily boiled eggs I consume. <laughs> God. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'm grateful to you. Thank you, everybody. Um, you know, we have a guest today, and um, usually, you know, I, I've never met a mun Munchkin before. <laughs> okay. No, you I, 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 one, well, first of all, first of you all, one. don't say anything <laughs> until I say your name, like I okay. said in the rules, yep. right? Sorry. So I'm bringing you up, right? Mm -hmm. So she's a little Munchko, and uh, <laughs> and she's just, you know what I mean? It's a slur. <laughs> right, walking around, you Slurpees. know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that, that's yeah. the sound, you know? <laughs> I think the first time I met her was at ATC or something. Yeah. I looked at Mike Bernalina and I go, why do you have Munchkos here? And he's like, that's Rosebud Big. I go, ah, oh, really? And then um, anyway, but she's very talented. And um, I'll tell you how I know. Well, she, first of all, we've, we've wanted her on the pod for a while. Yeah. There's a list of, you know, I, I like the young new generation coming up. I think they're super talented. And also, um, I'm not threatened by it. Do you think I'm threatened? Maybe. Too. I'm a little threatened Maybe. by it. Yeah, a little bit. Of course, yeah. Make friends well, with the enemy. Yeah, yeah don't say anything. Well, I, say, I mean, you've been talking about it for know, two minutes this straight. Might, this might be a while. I'm supposed yeah, to pretend yeah. I'm not in the room. But she she has a Comedy Central special out on Comedy Central. I didn't think that was a network anymore, but... It's on YouTube, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's on YouTube. All right, and then she's... Sam Morrill did it. Joe List did it. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's you know. associated with also our family, ATC. We're an ATC podcast. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, she's married to... <laughs> Somebody that we're going to talk about in a second. <laughs> That's just, he's just twisted. Poor Andy. Physically twisted. <laughs> Not mentally, but yeah. like, the body. he's just a wretched, crotchety. Got a spine like a money tree. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jeez. yeah, yeah. But Good he luck, though. That's <laughs> but he looks like he has a big dong. He does. 100%. He yeah. does have a big dick. He's a big, yeah, uh, yeah. Dick? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's got a big dick. Yeah, yeah he looks like it. Yeah, uh, I know dudes like that too. Dudes shaped like that always. Oh, have always have big hugs. wretched dicks that yeah. <laughs> that scare the fuck out of women. Yeah, yeah, and it's probably pink. Is it? It's red and angry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. Whoa. But let's give her a round of applause, Rosebud Baker. Yeah. Give her a round of applause. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for doing our podcast. Thank you for having me. Thank you for letting me speak on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I appreciate so let me that. Just, let, let, let's, I just want to. I don't want to talk about Andy the whole time, but um, let's just. So you have a husband named Andy Hayes. Haynes. Haynes. What's his name? Haynes. Haynes. Like the underwear. Andy Haynes. Mm -hmm. And I've always liked him. I th think he's a very good joke writer. Great joke Super writer. Super kind, too. But what is it about him that you're attracted to, please? Okay. So I met Andy like years ago at a New Year's Eve party, and he walked up and he said, Hi, I'm Andy. I'm also sober. <laughs> like a psychopath. <laughs> and That's psychotic. I was like, Okay, I'm gonna go hang out with people who are rolling, <laughs> and um, yeah. and then I, I <laughs> like I hung out with him a little bit in Montreal when I was there for for uh, New Faces, and then I met him again at Dan St. Germain's wedding. Mm. Um, I didn't meet him again. Like I'd done his podcast at this point, and I'd, I'd talked to him a little bit, and he was very sweet and funny, but also like um, oddly haunting you know what i mean like his yeah. presence was haunting yeah and uh I he looks like somebody that like you know the, that hotel in the shining mm -hmm. like he would be in one of the photos yes he would be behind a shower curtain for sure <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah 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 like unblinking and um <laughs> yeah and i and i was we were the two the only two sober people at this wedding and we were the only ones dancing and we like danced all night and i was like together together but it was totally just like goofy and ridiculous and i was like I don't know why this this man looks like a uh, deck chair blowing in the wind. <laughs> it is like the most insane thing I've ever seen. Yeah. But he's so goofy and silly that I was like, I I really don't want to like him. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I, I didn't want to 
like him like that but i was really i was like i never want to stop hanging out with him oh and i truly like that's what made it happen i was like i just have so much fun with him and he's so funny and so like he sent me a picture of him and my mom on the beach yesterday because he went to go pick up our dog from her place and he sends me this picture of him and my mom in front of a sunset and he just writes, we're dating. I'm like, what the fuck? Hey, what the fuck? I'm like, my mom has no idea he's taking that picture knowing what he's going to say. Right. I but know. your mom probably loves him. My mom loves my husband so much that every time she talks about him, she starts to cry. Oh. But also, that being said, my mom will cry when she talks about a sunset or a, oh, a cloud one formation. Of she feels it all. She's an empath. Yeah, she's very, sen it's a lot. I think at this point, Bobby genuinely wants to be with my mom yeah. instead of me. Yeah. I, I love it. your mom so much. I know, but think about like how much fun, like how you can't stop Is it because about your mom is like a cooler version of you? Yeah. <laughs> Because my, your mom, your mom, more in shape, more buff. <laughs> you know, your mom, you right. You have the thing about like my diet. Am I gonna die? Mm -hmm. She doesn't give a shit. Right. Yes. Right. She's like, if you're gonna die, let's die together. Yeah. And and so it's like when we're alone, right? Yeah. I look at your mom and I go, and I always go, what do you want to eat tonight? Mm -hmm. She goes, what do you want? And she lets me order anything I want. You want to go to Morton's? <laughs> you want to go to Boa? We'll get it delivered. No matter what the price is. No matter what let's it have is, a it's attack. a deep. Let, let's fucking die together. Yeah, you know what I mean, and that's what I love about your mom. See, I think it's the opposite. Andy loves my mom because my mom will sit with him on the couch and talk about her feelings, and I, oh. I, Andy does that with me, and I'll, I'll try. I have moments with him where obviously I'm, I'm open and vulnerable, but like, it's not a lot. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's hard to get in here, and yeah. Uh, and so I think he's just <laughs> dying for someone to be like, to like emote in front of him. <laughs> and she's some version of you. Yeah, she is yeah. a version of me. And, and it's, but it's a very emotional version. And he, I, I. He's definitely softer than you are. He is. You seem like, even when I first met you, I was like, that's a harsh exterior. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I, I, I don't like it. Yeah. People don't. <laughs> it's so funny because. You were talking about Taylor earlier. Yeah. Taylor's so funny, but I, I envy how Taylor is like reachable, like likable. There's something, she's like. You have the same fucking thing, you fucking dingbat. Really? Yeah, you fucking moron. I don't think so, Bobby. I don't. You do because. No. Listen. And I'm not forced, I'm not bullying you into okay, complimenting okay, okay, okay. me. I'm not doing all right, that. All right, all right. I'm just saying that she is like, uh, she'll talk about her feelings more. And I. I will talk about my feelings as long as they are angry. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, fully. For sure. But you can see that. Yeah. It's not who you are. It's just the way you, you how you do nasty. your comedy. Yeah. Right? And also, it's like, I know that comedy clubs are the worst environment for yeah. women. It's so difficult. And you had to create this fucking persona yeah. to survive. Yeah. Right? You're not a bitch to... to Maybe. I don't know. I don't think you are. No. You're not a bitch down below. No, I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I think it's uh, it's one of those things that happens where, you know, you put out a comedy special and everybody talks about your fucking outfit. And it's like, what the fuck? I know. Like, it's like, that's all they have to say. And you're yeah. like, I wrote good jokes. Yeah. I know I wrote good jokes. And all you're talking about is my fucking jeans. Like, eat my <laughs> dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah. suck me. Yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. I feel. <laughs> yeah. I do, I, and so it, it, it does like come from being treated like, it's, it's like it, you don't want to be treated like a woman yeah. in a man's space. So you just start to act like a fucking man after a while. Like, I'm a man now. It's I comedy too. made it's okay. me this I am, way. I am too. Also, I'm yeah. I'm yeah. not an... People, some people think I'm a bully and an alpha male, which I'm not. He's I'm, a softy. I'm a yeah. softy. I'm also Very like... emotional. He cries more than me. I cry yeah. a lot, right? Yeah. But I think comedy made me aggressive because when I first moved to LA in the 90s, right, comics would come up to me and go, Asians aren't funny. Right. Like straight up to my face. Yeah. Right? That was like and the then, time when they would be like, we already have an Asian guy here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I'd go up and I would see the audience. I mean, the other comics leave the room. Right. Right. And it's like, and I, they would make fun of me all the time. And it's like, I'm from the suburbs. I'm weak. You know? Yeah. I mean? Yeah. You know, I, I track homes. That's what I'm used to. Right. Right. And, 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 and I love country clubs. You know that. 
Mm-hmm. You know how I love Country oh, Club. Boy. And I went to one with Gene the other day. It was really nice. I know you Facetimed me from it, there. Yeah, yeah. What did you do? He, he um, he, um, Oliver Hudson introduced him to a um, country club over the, by the museum over there. What's it called? The White Museum. The Getty. The Getty. Yeah. I love how you use your country club voice. I know your voice know. while I talking know. about hello. country clubs. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hello. And it, he he has a membership. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. He showed his membership card, and we sat there, and then um. This guy Jay, who is from um, Super Troopers. Okay, you know Jay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love the movie. He directed yeah. um, yeah. Joe Coy's new movie. Mm-hmm. He sat with us for a bit. There was other celebrities, and we say hello. Ew. Let's just be quiet. And uh, <laughs> and also, I was like, there's a gift store, so I was thinking about maybe getting some. I'm gonna barf nice, on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna new, barf on this. Some mic. new like khakis or something. Ooh, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the new stuff, and um, I just kind of like being you know with my little. You know what I mean? Ship. Little, little spritz, spritzer mm-hmm. water. Ah. Little raspberry spritzer Ooh, water. Raspberry. Right? Yeah. Sipping it and just... <laughs> just living and doing the. I love <laughs> doing never, the laugh. Never heard you laugh like that. <laughs> but I do in country clubs, right? Yeah. yeah. Gene would make a joke. I go, <laughs> that was dandy. I love the word dandy. You use dandy? Yeah. I use dandy. And um, I just like the He's whole He's using body. like white words from the 30s. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, tuberculosis. Is that a white word? Uh, consumption, yes. Yeah, yeah. That was a thing. Yeah. What is Tuberculosis. It's a lung infection. It must be terrible. By, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I went on a country club a thing, but the thing is, is that that's who I am. But comedy has made me aggressive, and uh, we use our defense mechanisms. Yeah. Because it's dark anyway. Oh, that's another who you thing are. too. Yeah. A nice person. Ah, uh, Brooklyn, in Brooklyn, in we love it, Brooklyn. <laughs> You're very good at that. Brick linen is something that I use in my own household. Um, there are sheets and comfortables, and um, <laughs> what? There's sheets and comforters. <laughs> what did I say? Com- comfortables. Yeah. <laughs> right, comfortables. Comforters. Have you ever wondered if you could pull off just wearing an entire comforter around your body? All I would day? never. I wondered it all the time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be so grand? That'd be great. Well, this loungewear launch from Brooklinen is the socially acceptable equivalent of wearing duvet days. Oh. The same coziness of your Sunday morning snooze and lose yeah. now comes in tees, tanks, joggers, and more. Yes, there are sweatpants too. Well, Brooklinen has been listening to what we all need most, and they responded with ultra comfy loungewear at a fair price. This loungewear has classic cuts and no zippers for limitless comfort that you can pull off in real life. So you can luxuriate... Is that how I say it? Luxuriate in coziness all day. There's a reason why Brooklinen has over 75,000 five-star reviews and counting. So go on, get comfortable, and get it for less at Brooklinen. Go to brooklinen.com and use the promo code TIGER to get $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com and enter promo code TIGER for $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's brooklinen.com, promo code TIGER. Oh, Roman swipes for your ding dong. What? For your ding dong, right? Yeah. For your ding dong, what have you done in the past to make you last longer in bed? Like, what do you what do you think about? Well, I, you know, um, I listen to, well, not listen to but i re- recite like hemingway novels like the sun also rises well guess what wow you don't have hemingway novels no more <laughs> is, that, is that one yeah, yeah, yeah something yeah, you do yeah, yeah hemingway novels no more because enter <laughs> <laughs> yeah go ahead hemingway novels no more because now you have roman swipes ah. the secret to longer lasting sex I see. no more saying the pledge of allegiance in bed no more poems um, Roman swipes are a clinically proven way to last longer in bed. They're effective, easy to use, and fast acting, but don't require a prescription. Mm-hmm. Tell us more. Roman, about I, well, I have Roman swipes. So I have actual. I use them on you. Yeah, you use them on me, and I have them sitting <laughs> on the side of the bed, and they're easy to open, right? They don't, you know, you, at first I thought maybe they would burn. They don't. It feels actually good. Oh. You know what I mean? It feels, and then it's like, you're, you're, you, it's harder to, you know what I mean? You know, it keeps it up. Oh, also, it's harder to, you know what I mean? What I love about it makes it, it last long. It mm. does, and also what I love about it is that the product doesn't transfer over to me. It doesn't transfer to her. Yeah, and you, so men, you can last longer. Guys, you gotta working. try it, man. You gotta go ahead. Go to getroman.com slash belly and get $10 off your first order of swipes plus free two-day shipping. That's getroman.com slash belly for $10 off your first order of swipes plus free two-day shipping. Getroman.com slash belly. Um, Rosebud, are you the type to overshare when you're nervous and just throw it all out there? Or no. are you more like keep stuff in? No, I, I won't tell anyone anything, if any. I'm, mm. I'm more like I'll just, I'll get the lay of the land first 
And then if I feel good, I'll open up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I was on, I, I did KTLA this morning and I got, I closed my computer and I was like, who was that? Like, <laughs> oh, really? It was about who was I just now? It was the most. I was smiling the whole time, and my yeah. voice was really high. Oh, <laughs> country club. I, yeah. country I did club. this weird. It was like, country club. You. It was yeah. like I was auditioning for a commercial. It was the weirdest. Yeah. Version of myself, and I I shut the computer, and I was just like, ugh. Like I I hope that's not the rest of my day. <laughs> yeah. You know, and uh, so I I can sort of shape shift. I I grew up like with money around yeah. wealthy white people mm -hmm. and you and you just don't you don't talk about your feelings like that mm. oh know? so you grew up in a, a in an affluent. affluent very much so yeah my granddad was like uh worked in the white house he was like secretary of state for george Whoa. bush senior wait what, what jim baker yeah is your gra is my grandfather <laughs> <laughs> no, no, i have a picture no, right no, no, now no, 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 no. wait i have a picture wait, wait, right wait, wait, now can i ask you this yes i've always wanted to know is jim baker sober no okay no, not at all. Because I'll tell you why. Okay. Because there was a Jim Baker in my men's meeting in yeah. San Diego, and I always they looked exactly the same. Yeah. So I always thought that maybe that was him, but not, it's not. No. Right? But no. I know who Jim Baker is. So you come from heavy mm. political pedigree. Yeah. pedigree. Succession. Yeah. That's, that <laughs> wow. is, that's my family. Yeah. I, uh, let me see the photo. I'll show you the photo. Hold You're on country clubbing shit. I know. This is the real thing. I literally have a photo of me at the White House with – George Bush Sr. <laughs> no, 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 On Christmas. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. And where are you? Oh, my God. That's you right there? Yeah. The, I'm looking terrified. Oh, <laughs> my God. Yeah. You're really a part. Of, now, is your grandfather still alive? Uh, yeah, he's still alive. Does he know what you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he proud? I mean, I wouldn't call it that. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I really don't know. I, it does. Wow. We look exactly the same. In the <laughs> the facial That's structure. actually terrifying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's horrifying. That's your granddad. Yeah. That's wow. insane. Dude. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but he knows you do comedy, right? He knows I do comedy. He he has seen a couple sets. I talked about him uh, in one of my sets. Uh, and because I had to address it. Like, right. I, I can't not. Like, I couldn't talk at all about politics without talking about that first. Because right. that set the stage for how I felt, like, my political affiliation and where I was going to go. And Because like, he's a Republican. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Staunch. So, yes. Yeah. And wouldn't, like, weirdly, like, wouldn't come out against Trump. Wouldn't, like, did the whole, like, towed wow. the party line like, like Republicans do. And it was... Uh, it was a very weird thing to, I kept trying to ask, like, how do you feel about this? And the worst thing that he would say is that he's, he's like at least half crazy. That's, <laughs> that's all he said. Uh, yeah. But he wouldn't, he wouldn't really ever speak ill of him. And, uh, and my granddad is, is like that. He's a, he's a politician. Mm. Right. Like he is a politician through and through. But you know how he really feels. No, no. I mean, you really don't No, I, I've, had a lot of experience with giving men more credit than they deserve. <laughs> and I, I just, I can't really do that. You yeah. know what I mean? I can't go, well, he know this is how he really, I don't know how he really feels. Oh, yeah. it's a lock. It's a locked box. You know well, what I mean? Like my, my dad, I mean, my dad was Korean and I had to knew nothing about how he felt about anything. Yeah. And it's just a locked box. Yeah. And there's no way to figure it out. You know? I'm right. sure deep down inside there is stuff, but it's buried and I just don't have the time or willing. Like, it's like that's like Dave Cho, one of our friends. Um, he's in his 40s now and he's finally in a place where he feels like he doesn't know his father, even though like he's close to his father. Right. And they, um, you know, he went up to his father and he was like, hey, like, I want to know who you are. I want to know your feelings. Like, are you open to that or do you want to keep it as is? Yeah. And the dad was like, keep it as is yeah he's like, like no we're wow. not going good. there yeah wow <laughs> yeah then let me ask you this. if you were homeless mm -hmm. right could you call your granddad and go can i stay with you guys for a couple of weeks yeah okay good yeah i could do that you could do that <laughs> i could reach out to his secretary <laughs> I could, hi i'm oh, really? email his secretary and oh really can you send me his number because <laughs> I, I oh you don't have his number even i don't have his number i mean I should have his number. My sisters have his number. Yeah. But I don't, I just don't call him that often. And like, I, 
have a very complicated relationship with family where I'm just like, I don't know the value of family, like as a person. <laughs> I don't understand our connection to it. My my husband's helping me try to like wrap my mind around this. <laughs> Yo, like he's what is like, wrong with you? He's like, your family, <laughs> like it's your family, and I'm like, yeah, but that's what everybody says. What yeah. so? I'm like, so what? I yeah. I, didn't, I didn't pick them, you know. Like they're not people that I chose to surround myself with. That's all of a, us you with rose a fully formed brain. I know. No, but I see what you're saying though. It's like. You know, the idea that we sort of have this like unsaid obligation to one another is sort of bullshit because it's like Ugh. we shouldn't be that tethered to one another. Let's say like I was molested by family. Why does. Right. But then, that's and what then I'm during family gatherings, everyone just sweeps it under the rug and they're like, well, he's family. And I'm like, yeah, but he fisted me I'm when like, I was eight years old. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. That's yeah. And I'm graphic. supposed to just eat fucking pig with him, you know, like, yeah, let's yeah, run yeah. with him. And I'm yeah. like, Right, it's like it's a cult. Yeah, it's a cult. It's a fucking cult. And I'm like, it's I do love not my family though. It's not like, <laughs> I mean, I, there's certain people in my family that I really love because I love being around them as people. Who do you yeah. love the most in your family? Oh God, Who do you my, feel my sister Jackie is like the funniest bitch I've ever met. I just, I cannot. She did. She never means to be funny. She's just very earnest and um kind of dorky, and just like will walk up to you while you're eating breakfast and like throw her twat on the table and be like, is this mole weird? <laughs> yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. I'm I love that. staring into your pussy. So you'd choose yeah. her even if she wasn't your sister? I would. I would choose. Yeah, I would hang. I always think that. I'm like, I would always hang out with her mm. even if she wasn't my sister because she is even even like her lies and her deceptions are funny to me. Like the way she tries to lie to get out of shit is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> like she got sent to rehab in high school. And uh, while she was there, she told everybody that she tried heroin. And I was in the car <laughs> with her and I was like, dude, you never did heroin. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, no. Yes, I did. And I was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> like, you didn't get heroin. Yeah, I, yeah. I can tell. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And she was just, it was just like, I got why she did it. Yeah. Because she wanted to seem like the hardest bitch in rehab. Right. But yeah. it just never, I was like, it. that's not you. Like, you're, you're earnest like you there's an earnestness about you that is so endearing to that me that is kind of cute though do you know that i dated a boy that lied about going to sri lanka for no fucking reason at all dude that was me when i was drinking i would totally <laughs> lie about that. Wait, wait 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 he was he went because yeah I, I lived in sri lanka no he was <laughs> I that swear is... to you, I was like, yeah, you know, because I was talking about how like I had been to Indonesia when I was younger because I grew up in Asia, blah, blah, blah. And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, I love that area. I've been to South that Asia. That area? I love that area. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I've been to Sri Lanka. I was there for like, you know, three months. Big, and who's the biggest liar you've ever met? <laughs> you. <but> exactly. <laughs> I'm the king of lies. Yeah. I know. Every, I lie about everything. But the thing with you is I always know. I yeah, know. You, you seem like an know. obvious liar. Like, you don't seem like you have a game face. Still, you got into a huge fight. Well, can we talk about our big fight without it getting personal? Let's get personal. And so let, let her be the judge. I'll, you can be the judge. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is no, the no, kind no, no, of power no, no, I want. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Can I, okay, let's be, let's be fair. Okay. Okay. Let me start. No. Do you get a rebuttal? Or? Wait, yeah, but yeah. it wasn't your idea. It doesn't matter if we, <laughs> she gets to address the jury first. I, I know. If we're in court, let me start. Okay. okay I'm fine. the one. I'm the defendant. Draw first yeah, yeah, yeah. blood. Go right. ahead. This is I, like giving okay. somebody a handicap. Okay. So let, you need to know some history. All right. Okay. You needs to know. You needs to know some history. Like okay. This guy. So her on like I don't want to bring up certain things, right? Because I just don't like fighting with her. Yeah. I don't like bickering. So we I don't, rarely do. Right. Excuse me. It's I have the court. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't like confrontation. I, if, if, you know what I mean? I've never done anything wrong. That's absolutely <laughs> okay, I, not true. I, it is. I mean, I've never really, really wrong. done anything really wrong. Uh, uh, fact check. <laughs> yeah. Checks out. Thank you so much. All right. He's a part of my it's council. Like, well, can't argue with that logic. <laughs> That's good. Uh, are we talking about the Hawaiian story? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> I've never done anything wrong. Okay, so here we go. Never. First piece of evidence. Yeah. I'm not going to name any names because I don't want to get any trouble, right? Okay. Okay. But I know some. Okay, so. But here are the names. <laughs> so when I'm in Hawaii, right, I'm there to shoot a show, mm -hmm. a network show, right? I know a guy who's a very, one of my best friends, mm -hmm. right, who is. High up in, he's not an actor, but he on the other side of the camera. Okay. Let's just say producer, mm -hmm. right? And we were we were talking about. Um, he, I, he goes, 
Remember that one girl that played your wife in that one episode? And I go, I don't even remember. And he goes, she, he goes, oh, she was pretty hot. And I go, I don't remember her being hot. So he sends me her a modeling photo of her mm-hmm. and a link to the, the, the website of the model thing. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. He sends you backup info? Mm-hmm. Just to sh- remind me what she looked like. Uh-huh. So then I could, you know how- Stats, bio data. How bros right. do? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dog, she was hot, whatever, right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm at dinner with everyone, and I open up my phone, and it just happens to be on a photo of- <laughs> you mean, Kitty's out. No, she, she, it's a modeling photo with her you know, lingerie beautiful. or whatever. Beautiful. Yeah. And she's like this, and she's beautiful, right? And right. She's like yeah. this. <laughs> I mean, beautiful, yeah. I mean, the way- Not the way I- Not the way, but, but, not the way I, but Wait, can you do it one more time? Yeah, but not the way- time. Like, Ooh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looks like a flamingo broke its leg. <laughs> anyway, sorry. I'm sorry. So anyway, she sees the photo. I think we're both on your phone together. Right. She sees the photo. And I go, what did I say? And then you just swiped out of it. I swiped out of it. And I said, we were with the family. And I was like, no big deal. I like. Let it go. Let, I let it go. But yeah, so what I, I did. Okay, yeah. So what I did then, right, was that I texted. Hmm. And I go. Yo, dude, because they know each other. And, and I, I knew they were going to see each other, too. Yeah. So I go, yo, dude, you know, if she ever asks about that picture, yeah. just say it's a girl that you're interested in because he's, he's single. Okay. Right? Right. Which is, that's so funny because it's coming from a the worst guilty place. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Right? Because I just want to get into it, right? Right. So then what I do then, <laughs> just check it out, I erase that text message. Okay. Uh-huh. Right? Right. Dum Dum didn't know I yep. had already read that text message. No, right. no, but, but what Dum Dum didn't know is, is that <laughs> when you text, right, and you erase the text from your phone on your iPad if they're linked, <laughs> yeah. it doesn't erase. It does. Yeah, I've read all of Andy's. <laughs> right? Yeah. So then she confronted me. She's like, what did well, you say? Well, I was, this is where I was a little so bit that's my back. That's my back. That's, so th- there we go. Here's so go what I want to know. I don't care <laughs> who she is, what she is to him. I just want to know how far he'll take the lie. Uh-huh. So that that was my... Yeah. Okay, here we go. Go. Because oh. it's like, okay. And so we come back from Hawaii. I had not even mentioned anything about this person at all. Right. I was on his iPad dealing with his business as I do because I take care of him in a lot of ways. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> what was up with that picture? Mm-hmm. Like, who go to the shit? messages. And I look at the message and it said... Hey, dude, um, if Kalila asks, say it's a girl you're into. So I'm like. So right. now it seems weird. Now it seems very right. weird. Yeah, yeah, and so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I shut the iPad and he's in the tub with his rubber duckies. <laughs> I go in there. <laughs> I, I sat and I was like, hey, I was like, not a big deal. But I was like, but what was up with that? You know, wh- who was that? Like, right. And he was like. Oh, it was nothing. And then he starts to get really defensive or whatever. Yeah, starts panicking. Yeah. And I was like, well, then let me read your texts. That's what I asked him. Mm -hmm. He goes, okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go grab my phone. (laughs) (laughs) And so he goes over to get his phone. And you can see him just frantically trying to. No, I had already. No, here's what you get mistaken. You had already erased it. I had already erased that message. Right. So I didn't look into the message. Right. I just was like. I'm safe because yeah. I erased that message. <laughs> right. So I gave her the phone, right? Yeah. yeah. And she goes, you erased it. Yeah. And I go, no, I didn't. And I was like, your iPhone, look at your iPhone. <laughs> no, but, no, no, but, but that, but my denial was yeah. five minutes long. You didn't do the iPad yet. He tried. He, I did. I go, I swear to God. On I even life. said, what did I you say? I swear it on your mom. He's like, I swear it on my mom's oh life. My oh my God. Yeah, yeah. I, I, oh, I know. Time. I, and I, I just sat there like, on uh-huh. your mom's life. And I was like, are you sure, babe? He's like, I swear, babe. Yeah, on my mom. I think I went to my mom. Yeah. On my mom's life. Yeah. <laughs> she could have died, my mom. That's the that's the worst when, you, when you're like, <laughs> you're like, how terrified are you right now that you'll just, you'll get in a corner and you'll be like, my whole family could die. <laughs> I know. I swear to God. You know That's what, I mean? what it was. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if you just really look at it, it's it's a nothing burger. Dude, honestly, that's half my problem in my <laughs> life is me feeling guilty for no reason because I'm a fucking addict and I just lie 
because I feel guilty for existing. Yeah. On yeah. Some, like, and also yeah. I have a past of just like doing a lot of shit wrong. So I'll like, I'll be run into somebody on the street. Where are you going? The gym. And it's like, I'm not going to. <laughs> I know. And I, I don't do even that. know this person. I do that. Yeah. I just don't want them to know where I am. It's yeah. the weirdest. Like, and my husband's also an addict, so we're we just lie to each other back and forth. And <laughs> yeah, when, yeah. And when one of us catches the other one, it's like there's too much ammo for the other one to hit back with. It's like, well, this is this is just like the time you did this. All yeah. right. And it's like, well, but fuck. Well, the- but with this one, it ended, right? <laughs> but it's like I, you know. Look at mommy. But at the end. Ah! of the- but no, I'm not. I'm fine. But I get it. I get it too because I'll see like one of Andy's exes text him, right? And sh- she'll like Sorry. text him like pictures of them. Why? Like, Why? I don't know. But I hope she hears this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, please stop. I, I, it's really like, yeah. and I don't think that they have a relationship like that. I don't think they have like a, I don't think she's trying to, get in with him or anything like that I really yeah. don't but it is like one of those things where I'm like this is not appropriate you know what I mean yeah and I, unless and you I, guys are friends like I, I but are you really jealous I don't know her but she you're not follows jealous of me it. and she'll she'll DM me sometimes but I don't know her that's also like a kind of um it's that's a new tact that's a new tactic he does he follows all of my exes and I don't like it yeah 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 it's, it's like, like a, a weird well, a jealousy thing yeah. sometimes. But also wanting to show that here, like, I'm cool with it. But you. I'm cool with it, yeah. And maybe it's genuine. Or maybe, you know, maybe I'm like jumping to, I, I'm, maybe I'm thinking the worst of the situation, but it is one of those things where I'm like, ew, you mm-hmm. know? And I don't want to bring it up because I don't want to look insane. Yeah. I don't want to look like somebody who's like crazy. Yeah. But it it's like, ugh. But yeah, I, that is I ugh. Just, could I have a message then? Yeah. I don't know her name, but... As far as I see it, right, you're a rising star, and I can see why she's jealous. I don't think Look at it... me right now. You're a rising star. Bobby. <laughs> no, let's stop right now. Uh, let me just say. I'm being bullied. I'm being I'm bullied. Not, you're not being bullied. I'm giving this you compliments. It's bullying. I'm giving you I'm It's giving you bullying with right? compliments. <laughs> oh. No, I'm not bullying you. I right? Know. Let me just look at me and accept it, okay? Okay. So um, look at me right now, all right? You, right? I'm looking. Just look. I'm... Just look. Just, 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 <laughs> Just look, right? This is my passport photo this person making. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Volcano? No, it's not. It's a rocket. Okay. Right? They're not good? Take off. Your rocket, you know what she is? She's just she, this, the thousands of other people, right? It's very sweet. And she's like, no, it's not. A, shut the fuck up, all right? You know who's, <laughs> you know who's in the rocket? Little Andy with his crooked spine, right? Oh, and, crooked. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, what about me? Ah. Right, right? And you're, it's, you can't even hear her. Because uh, you're in a fucking rocket, yeah. baby. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I don't know her name, but look at me. If you're listening right now, right? <laughs> Stop what you're doing because it's sad. And he's never going to leave. <laughs> okay? She, they both won the lottery with each other. You heard about the dancing story at the wedding? Yeah. You know, they were dancing, giggling it up. You didn't have a relationship like that with Andy. <laughs> oh right? my God. You were a glum lot, like they say in the in the book. What is it? A glum, glum lot. lot. In the A book. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh my God. Right? And you don't have it. <laughs> so go find some I other can't. guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. That does delivery. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure delivery... <laughs> A delivery is a good job. Good job. Listen, I'm so sorry. I think I think I don't wish this person any ill. I really don't. But I'm like, we don't want you to die. Just, just fuck off a little bit. Yeah, fuck, fuck off. off. Uh, yeah. Fuck, fuck off. off. Some more. Yeah. yeah. Fuck out of the door, but don't die. Just like be yeah. 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 Take a nap. Yeah. You know. So but you were telling you. me earlier. Um, so that's a message to you. <laughs> little whatever your little Andy with his crooked yeah. spot. Yeah. <laughs> the funny thing is, my husband's like six foot two. Yeah. He's like this huge towering man that he, i just he, dominate but he's but he, also i have to say and i was never going to say this because i don't like giving that many compliments mm. but what do you mean no i that's okay. that's just a sound i make <laughs> <laughs> mm. so i want to say um that a lot of times when you see two comedians together there's always like one person that's just not as good mm. right? yeah and w- luckily in our lives we have a couple of, I, i'll give you an example <laughs> uh, we have Tom and Christina. Uh-huh. They're both to me at that same level. And I have to say that you and Andy are on the same level because even way before 
you know what I mean? You guys, you did your stupid fucking white dance at the fucking <laughs> yeah, you know, white like dance? happy white, Im- yeah, it entitled, wasn't white dance. privileged white people giggling on a, you know what I mean? We're yeah. sober. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even before that, I used to check that guy out mm-hmm. and go, wow, that guy's legit. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He's so a, he's you guys very are very, both very talented. He's very funny. It's like uh, infuriating, actually. But I did want to ask you um, about, because we talked about earlier, and I don't know if it's you want to talk about it anymore, but. The loss of your sister. Great segue. <laughs> I just want to say. I know, I, I'm sorry. I, I know that segue was wild, I dude. Say, what a an odd. I didn't know how else to do it. I, I went for rocket. <laughs> Honestly, I thought you were gonna ask like, "Hey, should we see if, who's taller?" Because that that. Was, oh, maybe let's do yeah. that part. Let's start there let's first. Do, let's yeah, just yeah. do that part, right? Okay. So you say you're five three. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you an example. I'll give you say something, right? We can jump into the dead. No, 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 no. How about this? Okay. We're gonna do the. We're gonna check each other's height, and then and it's your responsibility <laughs> to bring is up, to find a segue to bring up my dead sibling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what a, a great challenge. challenge. It's this a, is challenge. a great challenge. But I want you to do it in the most organic way you can okay. because I didn't do it. The, it okay, justice. but if I don't, here's another rule. Yeah, I'm gonna throw it in there. Yeah. If I don't bring it up organically, yeah, you have to say, eh, you have to make a sound, okay. and then I have to find another time. I'll go. I'll go. Okay. 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 Wait, well, you tell everyone. So you're you're, five, four. you're five three. You said. Munch I'm 5'3". All right, so I don't want to get, too, because of COVID, let's not get too close, but stand up. Okay, but I'm double back. Back to back, back okay. to back. All right, all right. That's how. Back to back. Back to back. Back to back. Oh, I think she's taller. Yeah, yeah. wait, hold on, let's you see. You are? Yeah, I'm looking at your eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, I have a very um, short. Take The beanie is very deceptive. Take it off. Should I take my shoes off? No. Because he's, okay, go ahead. he's got some. Oh, I think Bobby by like half an inch. Yes, half an inch. Half an inch. Yes! Literally, it's angled like barely. Wow. Wow. God damn it. Yes. Wow. Well, this I'm- loss reminds me of my sister. <laughs> 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 You guys, Ship Station is something that we here use at Tiger Belly. Like, we have merch and stuff. How do we get that stuff out to you people? Oh, also, by the way, it's already... October is right around the corner. Mm. The holidays are coming up. And if you're selling anything online, it's it's time to prepare for the busiest time of the year. Between growing your business, managing inventory, and juggling orders, you've got a lot going on this holiday season. So make shipping the easiest part of your day with ShipStation. Yeah, I mean, figuring out the best way to ship your orders can be frustrating, right, George, and confusing? Yeah. Mm ShipStation makes it quick, easy, and convenient. Easily import orders from any sales channel, automate just about any shipping tasks, spend less time sorting through orders and more time doing what you do best. ShipStation integrates all selling channels into one simple dashboard so you can seamlessly connect carriers, print shipping labels, and get products out the door fast. Tell us more about it, Gil. It's never too early to start prepping for the holiday rush, so get head start with ShipStation. Our listeners can use the offer code BELLY to get a 60-day free trial just in time for the holidays. That's two months of stress-free holiday shipping for free. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top, and enter in BELLY. Ship station make ship happen this podcast is sponsored by better help online therapy check out betterhelp.com slash belly for 10 percent off your first month better help oh you guys life is full of stressors it doesn't matter who you are or what you have your life is probably stressful to some degree better help you, honestly though let's be serious kalila and i partake in better help better help is um a really good service man Without um, therapy, you know, I think I would have might done something very terrible to myself. But during the pandemic, the better help has really helped me. Um, you can you can to talk to a, a therapist, mm-hmm. and it's um, really more affordable than in person therapy. And you can start communicating with your therapist in under forty eight hours. You know, you unload the stressors and get some unbiased feedback. You'd be pretty surprised at what you might gain from from it. See if it's for you guys. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. And honestly, some days Mm -hmm. I don't want to. And I'd rather just hear a very soothing voice across, you know, the phone lines helping me out through the burdens of my week. Mm-hmm. Tell us more about it, Gil. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Tiger Belly listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash belly. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash belly for 10% off your first month. Enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, wait, um, I'm 
I'm legitimately five three then. I think so. And a half, maybe. And a half because she said that she got measured at a, at a, at a, at a doctor's, doctor's office. Yeah. So uh, that's legitimate. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right. So, um, congrats. Thank you. That's what great. else is going on? Well, as I said, <laughs> um, <laughs> that loss, that devastating <laughs> loss yeah. to Bobby Lee, yeah. reminds me of the tragic uh, loss of my sister. Yeah. Who, I'm so. I mean, when you when you said that b before we started recording, yeah, I just you know you don't have we don't have to talk about it, but I just feel like it's. I do it, talk about so, it in the special. I joke it, about. Oh, it. Oh, you do? Yeah. 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 So just br briefly tell me what happened. So my sister drowned, and she drowned at a high school graduation party for my high school graduation. For so, your graduation. For my graduation. So, but the party was not at our house. The, the party was at someone else's house. And I had left the party early to go to a different party, which I thought was better. Um, wow. And uh, turns out it was a better party because no one died <laughs> there. <laughs> Objectively, I wow. picked the better party. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But I, so I remember <laughs> getting this call and my sisters, they dropped a couple of my other sisters off with me and they told me like something bad happened and like uh, Graham is in the hospital and I just thought, I was like, oh shit. Like something in me, I just knew something really, really, really bad had happened. Mm -hmm. And I drove them all back and, um, and it turns out that my sister was playing in the pool and then there was a hot tub connected to the pool, grew up with money. And she had jumped from the pool into the hot tub. And the drain from the hot tub had, like, her hair had gotten stuck in the drain. Oh, God. And, like, three grown men yeah. couldn't pull her yeah, I've out of the drain. Yeah, I've been hearing about shit like this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, obviously, lots of, like, I left, I left high school to go to college and my family, my parents had separated earlier that year. Then my sister died. Then my dad brought his like new girlfriend to the funeral. Oh and shit! And it was like oh, all everything God. was just like, you know, like yeah. so it it like in my mind, none of like this. My sister dying wouldn't have happened in my mind if if we weren't there. And to be fair, like that's true, right? I've like talked to my therapist about this so many times, where I'm like. But it, but we wouldn't be there if it weren't for my, and he's like trying to explain to me that like, you're not, he's like, you realize that you think you're God mm -hmm. on some level, like you think, and it makes sense to me because when all this shit happened at the same time, I immediately, it was like seared into my brain that everything can hap can change in like mm -hmm. a second, like your whole world can just like, yeah. like fall to pieces. And so I started, I have this overdeveloped sense of responsibility for others and for the things that happen in the world outside of my control, mm -hmm. outside of the realm of my control. But it's all because it's easier for me to blame myself than to accept the fact that everything can change mm -hmm. that quickly, Yeah, you know? So it was like, it it kind of was a catalyst for me to start drinking and I, I had started yeah. a little bit earlier than that just because you know my parents had separated and I was like kind of acting out mm -hmm. but then I went to college and I just I really started to drink and uh I was a little bit of a workaholic and a little bit of like a a drinker but then when I left college I like really yeah moved to New York and was just like let's fucking turn it off like yeah just really went to town with it. Wow. Yeah. I know. I just. So good night, guys. Uh <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, I mean, I mean, I just. Um, yeah. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Yeah, I it really am so sorry. Um, if you cry, Bobby, I'm, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. But I almost <laughs> did. I almost did because, um, you know, um, I can't imagine also, you know, because I think the alcoholism is a, a, a gene, a, yeah. a crazy gene that we had. So it's probably, you know what I mean, in you. Oh, for right? sure. And just, it was just inevitable. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was, it was from, it was me. I probably would have died. 
I wouldn't be able to deal with it. There's just no way. It, yeah. it just seems so traumatic. With and I, I didn't even realize that your parents were going through a divorce. Your dad bringing his gr- new girlfriend to the funeral is weird. Yeah, it's and fully succession. Yeah, yeah, it's really like, uh, <laughs> and if you were to ask him about it, he would have been like, well, when else was I going to introduce you? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like that's my that's my dad crazy. is like that's crazy. my dad is like a psychopath. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he's also the only. He is why I'm funny. Like right. he's like everything that's out of my mouth that's funny is like my dad's uh, sensibility. Oh. you know. Yeah, I have that too. My mom is the funny one. Your mom's yeah, yeah. My mom's very funny. I mean, yeah, and I get the timing time. and the silliness. Yeah, and the weirdness from her. You yeah. know. The way she dances and, you know, <laughs> she um she used to go to the mall. I said this before, but, you know, the fucking fountain in the mall. Yeah. She used to just wade in it, like take her clothes off and in the middle of the mall. Yeah. And it's like not a pool, it's, you know, and she'd yeah. take the pennies from the ground and like pocket them. <laughs> That's you know amazing. What I mean? Yeah. And she's like that. Kooky. Yeah. Kooky and weird in that way. And I I get that from her. So you get that from your dad. Right? Yeah. How I mean, si- I get. How many sisters do you have? I have. uh four sisters total three surviving sisters and how did they deal with your sister dying everyone had a different like reaction to it and I'm like it's so interesting because when you come from wealth like like grief is such an overpowering emotion but there is something very funny about seeing people seeing it play out in in a family where like country club etiquette is the thing Mm. (laughs) You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 it's yeah. like grief through the prism of a country club. Like it, it was just, you know, my mom tried to get everybody on board for therapy and like had us all like going to this therapist and like group therapy. Yeah. My sister turned it, all of it inward. You know, I don't want to get into her like personal. Sure, sure, sure. But like I shut down and really just was like, get I'm I'm getting the fuck away from mm. here because I felt so guilty that my instinct was to just like run as far away from that as possible sure. and to the point where I was like getting diagnosed as like bipolar mm-hmm. and because I wouldn't I there's therapists to this day that think that I have four alive sisters because I just wouldn't touch it in therapy oh. like I did oh wow yeah like I was just like not going to talk about that mm. and wouldn't touch it and so I was getting diagnosed as like bipolar and I'd be like, that's great. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Now I'm, I'm not sad. I'm just creative. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like that's how I saw it. Mm. And I would happily trade in like mental illness at that time for grief. Yeah. Because I didn't want to touch it. Yeah. It was just like, no, thank you. And, um, and I just, I, I really was born with like a, a gift for deluding myself. Mm. <laughs> I'm really good at like whatever lie I make up, I, I can make myself believe it. Yeah. You know, that's uh, two peas in a pod. You're very similar. I'm very similar to Yeah. And I think that's a lot of where your addiction comes from too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, wow. And then, um, did you get sober first and then do stand up? Yeah. I got sober first and I always, I always, wonder like how people like my husband got he started stand up and then got sober yeah and I'm always just like amazed by that I'm like that's so impressive to me um I I was sober six years before I started wow stand up amazing and when I started I was like I don't want this to be my life like I didn't want to be a stand up I didn't want to be funny I actually found the whole thing to be kind of embarrassing yeah and uh but my dad was like you're funny yeah like you're funny what i I find it interesting because um you know i i was sober for six years before it was five no wait somebody's one two three four five six years before i did stand up yeah and so i was very active right so i got sober when i was 17 i started stand up when i was 23 what i found that um stand up kind of was able i was able to replace it's not healthy Hmm. But replace stand up with twelve step groups, right? Like it, 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 for some reason, for me, it fixed me, yeah, in the right kind of way. Where it's like I felt like I didn't need to do that other stuff anymore, yeah. and I kind of drifted away from it because yeah. it felt spiritual. 
it's weird. Like when you get, when you're young, like myself, I was an incel, number one, mm-hmm. couldn't get laid. Mm-hmm. This weird sober guy that would go to a lot of meetings, a lot, a lot of friends, doing manual labor, this and that. I really had no future. And then when I was 23 and I started doing stand up, my world completely just kind of opened up right. and changed. And then, so it felt spiritual yeah. when it was just artificial, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, there is, I think there is something spiritual about finding out what you're meant to do. Right. Like that's, that was, that part of it was very spiritual where I, all the, everything from years back started to make sense where I was like, oh, like not being able to ever sleep. Right. <laughs> like as a kid, yeah. like never wanting to go to bed. Yeah. And just like, just literally like abusing my sister trying to keep her up at night yeah to play with me when she's like i want to go to bed you know yeah um and then like always standing out always feeling weird always making people laugh and not knowing why and being haunted by those moments (laughs) you know just really haunted like yeah i remember being this is crazy but i remember being at the white house for that's a crazy it's just, I know. It's just a thought to say that that's yeah a, it, i've never been there yeah, yeah. it's well, what is it like it's a rental um <laughs> yeah but yeah is it's, it nice no it's uh, like elvis presley's house it's sad <laughs> it's depressing yeah you know oh i, I see it's old ghosts yeah yeah, yeah 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 anyway so i remember being there and uh for some big dinner that my parents had like brought me for and they always wanted me to be like as impressed as they were with the way but I just didn't care I was like this is like work this is like your work and I don't care about it but there it was a big dinner and I loved food so I was like (laughs) we're all gonna eat and the president's gonna be there and I I I tried to make a speech right I was like (laughs) I was like eight and I like started banging my glass with my fork and I stood (laughs) on my chair yeah and I was like um George and I just went like I called President Bush George <laughs> and the whole room started like dying laughing oh wow yeah and I remember being was George listening yeah he was there oh, that's amazing wow I was humiliated I remember the feeling in my stomach just being like oh like I, I wanted to crawl into a hole yeah the like people laughing and you not meaning for them to uh, is like that's the mm-hmm. worst so i remember the, all of those moments and it all just made me go oh okay this is why i'm doing this right like i am i never fit in the world that i was born from yeah but i found this group of people that are like my they're like broken toys and we all mm-hmm. just sort of fit together even though none of us if you saw any of us just walking down the street together you'd be like how do they know each other yeah yeah you know like there's certain people that i i'm like i would never have met you from in the world that i was in yeah yeah it's funny because like unintentional i used to have a problem with unintentional and unintentional laughs Mm -hmm. like where i wasn't trying like as a kid when i wasn't trying to be funny Mm -hmm. but then i think I'm just intrinsic. Just, just hear me out, right? Because when I was in the Sound of Music, I've, to, I've said I was in the mm-hmm. Sound of Music, mm-hmm. and I played Kurt. Okay. Okay. And I remember, like, ex- I don't know. You I know, love how you say that. Like, we all know who Kurt is. Kurt's like, the middle kid yeah. son in the in the Von Trapp family. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> you there, said it like he was like the main role. <laughs> no, no, no. no. You were like, and I played Kurt. As we all know, <laughs> know famous. I, I, all right. <laughs> if you're into the Sound of Music, you know who Kurt is. Yeah. Can I say that? Yeah. So there's a there's a scene where Fraulein Maria is whistle like no the father von Trapp is making the kids come down these spiral yeah there's Kurt that's the middle one yeah that's the middle one that's Kurt right. <laughs> okay. so imagine like this is a German family <laughs> yeah right and this is a play <laughs> yeah and it's an all white school pretty much right? <laughs> and imagine von Trapp blowing the whistle and the kids and as soon as they the, they could see me yeah. It just people just in an applause break. Yeah, la, la, like people. I I remember <laughs> white people in the on the holding their sides. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> you and you're right, and I'm it's like and, and, like and, black people watching a white production of The Wiz. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. And I remember going. You know what I mean? I'm Kurt. 
I'm whatever the line is. I am Kurt. I'm 13. You know what I mean? And walk yeah. in there. And just the play, you could hear the the, God. the yes. walls tremble with laughter. Yeah. And I I remember going, I'm not purposely doing this. Yeah. They're laughing at me. No. Yeah. Right? Oh, sweetie. But I've thought about it. If it w- but if there was any other Asian kid, I don't think it would have gotten the laughs. No. It's the way I am. Yeah. True, the way true. I walk. It is. The way I reacted to it. Mm-hmm. Maybe yeah. there was something hammy that I did that was weird. You yeah. are a ham. Right. It's a big ham. I'm sure. So, to me, it's like, I know I'm indirectly getting laughs, but I think it's because there's something intrinsically... F- this is how I justify it in yeah. my head. Yeah. Right? So I think that um, it was a... Before I thought, it, you know, when I was growing up, a negative thing. But in retrospect, I think it's a positive thing. That's a really good way to look at it, actually. Like, yeah. I never thought about it that way, that maybe if if another kid... I think any any kid I don't calling so. the president George is pretty funny. Like, but I, but I, I think uh, first of all, a kid would never do that. <laughs> that that's what, I'm, what you don't realize is that what you did at that thing, I wouldn't have done that. Nobody here would have done that. Yeah. Right? yeah. It's only Rose, Rosebud Faker that did that. Yeah. Right? yeah. So my point is, is that, and I think deep down inside by you doing that, you know, even though you don't really can't, can't justify it in your mind or even know what the root is, you know what you're doing. I think. Yeah. I think you're an organic person performer right and i think that's that's like the earliest signs of it Mm -hmm. yeah it's just getting a laugh and and you might not know why but then i i realized like with comedy you don't always know why the laugh comes but if you just keep repeating the same thing that gets that laugh it gets it every time that happens all the time right i've tried new jokes and i i go this is the part where it's going to be funny yeah but they laugh at this part and then you realize Oh, that's the joke. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So you cut out this part. Right. Right? And you keep that. So it, there's, it happens in stand-up as well. Yeah. Happy accidents. Yeah. Right? And maybe that's what it, that thing was as a kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah. you were always, you know, like a rocket. A star. A star. Oh, yeah. It's just Going a little rocket. You hear that, Andy? Haynes' ex-girl? You don't have a chance, <laughs> lady. Not a chance. Oh, He's going to kill me. <laughs> Call it He's going to be like, God damn it, Rosebud. <laughs> does, does Andy like me? He does. He loves, honestly, he loves. <laughs> I love how you he, asked that. I'm right so needy. <laughs> you wouldn't know that, though. I, I understand why you're asking the question. Yeah, you know why I'm asking. Because Andy will look at you, and he wants so badly mm. to connect with people. Right. And and to, like, and so, but he, he'll try to do it, like, talking about geography and stuff. And I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, Andy, you've got to stop talking about, like, roads that people <laughs> yeah. grew up on. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. you've got to stop. He's, he studies maps all the time. I'm like, you are special. And uh, and so he doesn't, people don't get how much he wants to connect with them. Yeah. And so I get it when people go, Do you, Aunt, does Andy like me? I'm like, yes. Trust me. No, I already, he likes I know you he more do- than you know. I think, I know he does. Yeah. I think I know, because every time he sees me, he always says hi to me. Even yeah. when... You know, before when he was newer, yeah, he still had the confidence. Because I've been around for a long time. I'm old. I'm, I'm turning fifty this week. He does. Do you really? Yeah, yeah Friday. Huh? Holy Friday. shit! Yeah, I'm fifty years old. Fifty years yeah, old. Is, is that crazy? How old are you? I'm thirty six. Yeah, yeah. Right when you said that, a what? fly, a fly came out around your face. <laughs> it must be close to death. Yeah. <laughs> what if it's my dad? Oh yeah, no, it's actually it looks like a mosquito. Where's you, my dad at? You make your dad a spider? Or did you? Or a dad? fly? Where oh, is my, Papa? Oh, my dad's right. Here, let me go get Papa. Yeah. I mean, Appa. Yeah, that's my dad. You grab my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to meet him? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Rosemary. Is this ashes? Yeah. You're bringing your yeah, your dad's ashes out. This is my dad. It's. I think the ashes are locked in. You can't oh take my them God. out. You can. Yeah, you can. There's not a thing. You know what I mean? Have you but, tried? No. There's definitely this. I've never read the bottom. This package contains the cremated remains of Robert Hunley, oh. and cremated Friday, August twenty third, two thousand nineteen, <laughs> at the East Valley Crematory, Mesa, Arizona, for a wise this choice. This kind of shit only happens when I'm around. <laughs> <laughs> People are like, you want to see my dad? Yeah, and yeah, they yeah. bring out a box. <laughs> yeah. But it's is that unbelievable that his but you know what I always say though? It really isn't it's like half my dad, right? Oh yeah. Because it's like how many do Let's they say that up? in front of him? I know, but I'm just saying I'm sure that like when you put the body in the, the cremator, yeah. There's still ashes from like other people's bodies. I always think about that. I'm like, you probably mixed it up. They mixed we it. We need to we need to get to the bottom of this. Yeah. 
Um, because my dad was also cremated, ashed out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he ashed, out, ashed out. Dude, yeah. my dog was was cremated, and I opened the ashes. I wanted to see. <laughs> oh my god! If wow. there was like, I I don't know why I did it, but I was like, I started thinking that same thing. I was like, how much of this is like somebody mm -hmm. else's dog? Mm -hmm. And like, what was your dog's name? Alabama. Oh, oh cute. When did yeah. Alabama die? She died in 2018. Would 2018. you have um paid to get this her cloned? Uh, she was kind of a nightmare, like temperamentally. Okay, that's the reason why we w okay. we have but a I nightmare dog. Mm -hmm. Wait, did you have her since she was a puppy? Yeah, but okay. it was just, she was like eight months old, so I got her from the pound, mm -hmm. and she was like crazy. Like she, and then when I found out she had had a brain tumor, I was like, oh, oh that's why she was crazy. Yeah, but like. Oh my god, I love this dog so much. She was so fucked up, and I loved her so much. So we ha we got a dog named Remy. Mm -hmm. We got him. He was seven. We got him when he was seven. Okay, and he w he had obviously been molested and burned and, and beat. Really, just abused, molested, right? How do you know that? Yeah. Because he feels like, uncomfortable. Because I did I, it. He feels uncomfortable <laughs> when I. Did. <laughs> no, 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 really no, 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 but there's certain things I do and it makes him nervous. <laughs> Can I just say that? Is it? Sure. <laughs> right. Sure. So, right. I just I have a gut feeling. Right. Okay, yeah. But um, he's been burned, you know what I mean? Raped and all that stuff. Right. right. Is that too much? No. <laughs> yeah, listen, it stuff. happens. Dog rape is a thing. And people need to <laughs> yeah. know. But there, he's, he, and we, tr like, whenever I look at Remy, because he sleeps next to us. Yeah. And I go, you want lottery because we're just the best yeah we, we give him the best food we give him uh, everything beds treats. yeah he's old and toothless now yeah and he's an old toothless man and we I, wonder if yeah the reason that we want to clone him is because i want to know a happier version of him without the abuse and without yeah. having him like oh see i didn't know you could do that I you didn't put eighty thousand dollars. Korea does no, it really 50, well. No, it's fifty thousand now. Fifty now? They dropped it's the 50, price. Fifty thousand dollars. You can have your dog cloned as a puppy. Or you could just donate the money and adopt it. Here's that's, the thing, though. I future. think that's setting yourself up for. Here's because when you have a dog who is like crazy like that, yeah. That's so much of who they are. Like it's like that's if I had Bama without like without the experiences of her like lunging at the color blue. Like, <laughs> I don't know that I would, you know. Love her the same? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I would love her the same. Yeah. It was like, it was a labor of love. Like, yeah. it was very hard to have her. But my dog now, Charlie, he's just like the happiest idiot. He's just like, happy birthday, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I'm like, I love him, yeah. but I don't have the same connection to him. Yeah. And and it's, I truly do love him, but I just, it's not the same. I remember You're coming right. home from a after having to put Bama down and I looked at Charlie and Charlie's like, <laughs> and I yeah. was like, oh, oh no. so they knew each other. Yeah, they were together oh. and, and he was, um, you know, he, he's kind of gotten a little weirder over the years where I've, I've picked up on those things that make him so weird. Yeah. And he, you know, you got to love your dog. Just be every dog's got a different personality. We have yeah. a, we have so. a resident dick biter. Yeah, we can't have yeah, people yeah. over at all. We have to sequester. We have him. one that no one can ever see. He's completely unadoptable, full blown uh, psychopath. Psychopath. Jeez. Wow. Cannot, cannot be walked outside because if he lunges and cannot get to what he wants to lunge at, he will then turn on you. So I have scars on my legs. Everyone in this house has scars on their legs. Oh I my mean, god! He yeah, he escaped. Oh yeah. A year ago, I chased him down the road here. Yeah. And he's was this old lady is walking down the door and oh no yeah and he did a lunge toward her neck oh and she turned yeah. her head and he got her scarf she was wearing a scarf oh my god and i grabbed him by the back neck i'm so i'm so sorry i'm so sorry right but he would he would have eaten her yeah well he's also like 17 pounds only oh, so yeah, he's, yeah he's little like oh okay yeah, 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 yeah. oh okay right. julio but, his name is julio julio mm -hmm. i love that he's 17 pounds and he i i was literally picturing an 80 pound <laughs> no no, no. no he's mean, a skinny mini he's a skinny mini that's the kind of shit that bama would do but she was 65 pounds oh wow and i remember her running at another dog it was only other dogs but she would run at other dogs and I would grab onto the leash and like if the other dog was next to a fucking bassinet, like I had no, <laughs> people thought that my dog was trying to kill yeah. their baby. Oh and I gosh. would, I'd, I remember being dragged down a Brooklyn sidewalk, just my face bloody, getting up, <laughs> le never letting go of the leash and yeah. her stopping like within an inch of this 
this like baby carriage and then oh me God. standing up and being like are you guys okay <laughs> and i'm covered in blood and they're wow. like please go away people wow. called her hannah Belita in my neighborhood Aww. is that where you live Hannah Belita. <laughs> like we would walk down the street and they would <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah you live in brooklyn now i lived in brooklyn um in what was it 20 it was 2017 i guess 2015 to 2018 yeah where do you live now now i live in uh gramercy if i lived in brooklyn how far would it for me to get to like like the cellar Mm, depends on where in Brooklyn, but if you lived where I lived, it would take 15 minutes. In a cab? No, I mean on the subway. On the subway? Yeah. If I took a cab, how long would it take? You know what? Let me reverse that. Sorry. Uh, 20 to 25 minutes on the subway, 15 in a cab. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because if you're in Williamsburg, you're just right over the bridge. I was thinking about maybe moving there for <gasps> You should. You guys should move to New York. <laughs> we moved there for a bit. You should. Huh? I have seven animals, so yeah, I, yeah. I can't quite oh. just up and leave. Yeah. Yeah. What is it like? I, I want to see what that's is like. Is that where that hoe lives? What? Yeah. Cool. Swipe up girl. The swipe up You know girl. what? I'm not encouraging this. Oh, anymore. you mean the Hawaiian girl that lives in Hawaii? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? The swipe up fucking girl. <laughs> right, so anyway, at the end of our, first of all, let me just say that it was a real pleasure having you. It was such a we pleasure were, to be we, here. Are you being real? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to. I don't Not know how lying. to say. This is the worst. I, I try to say something genuine, and it always comes out sarcastic, and, and it's yeah, just the yeah. worst. I can't be like, "You guys are so great to be around." It, <laughs> it doesn't feel good. And I That's meant that. It feel real. And I meant it. It feels so bad. Oh, do it. Be on on honest. You know what? No. Try Clubway, the club. The country, cl country way. club. Country club way. This was really a pleasure. That's not going to be bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Better. That's that. Actually I, I, feels honestly, good. you try. You try it. No, no. Well, I, I this is because uh, I, I don't have here's, to try. Here's what I'll do. Here's, here's what I'll here. say. This is the genuine version. <laughs> yeah, this yeah. is a genuine version. I want to be better friends with you guys than I am. Okay, but what's that this? creepier? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's the rocket. No, it's was this worse? I believe you. That that came off genuine. That's yeah. creepier though. No, no. I think that you're worse. a funny person. I love. I hate myself. I think you're a funny person. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a funny person. I love Andy. You know what I mean? I love what you guys do. You have your own podcast together. I love the chemistry between. Yeah. Because I watch the clips on, on, on Instagram and stuff like that. Yeah. I think you guys are doing a great job. In the, the times that I've hung out, I've seen you, you've been very nice. And I, I'm a fan of your work. And I just think you're a nice person. And then congratulations. Oh, thanks. Yeah. You and whatever do. you say right now is going to feel. It's going to feel. Forced. Shitty. It's going to feel like a lie. Yeah. Do so people let always me tell you you look like Nicole Kidman? No. You don't get that? Wait. When? Young. Now? Like, no, 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 like young Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Wasn't she though? She, she, wrote, she reminds me of two people. Oh, okay. But I don't, I don't want to hurt Thank you. Thank you. She, you, you look like Nicole Kidman a lot. Yeah. But then you also look like, like this character actor that I know. Okay. Yeah. No, I don't want to say. You're like it. she played a maid. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to say it. <laughs> Who? I, she's a super talented person, and I mean, when she was, she's older now. I don't want to tell you. Who that. is it? I don't want to do Who it. Who is it? Is it Jane Curtin? No. Okay. Kind of, you have a Jane Curtin. <laughs> a lot of people say. Well, okay, what do people say that you look like? Jane Curtin, Nicole Kidman, um, which they're very different, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. very different. Yeah. Um, and uh, Jodie Foster. Oh, there is a little Jodie Foster the there. Eyes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the ones I was thinking about. Let's do the end of the. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Bobby. Exactly. Uh -huh. uh, um, so at the end of our podcast, we do can I wait? Can I try one more time to just tell you guys that this was really fun? Yes. I'm really happy you brought me on. Did that work? You want to try one more time? Is that better? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you guys. No, you know what? Just just <laughs> the one that I did a second ago. Did, was that better? I feel like the one I did a second ago was better. It wasn't. It was, <laughs> it was no, no. not. No. Can we just do? Can you do one? <laughs> This is so dumb. <laughs> Just be real, man. I Honest, am. Oh, no, no. On, honestly, let's be real. You're yeah. offending me now. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay. You're oh, I feel like it's gonna be better if I push you into a fucking okay. serious box okay. here, right? Yeah. So number one, we're Asian. Uh huh. And you're being very rude to us. How That's not true. I'm culturally. doing the work. I'm I don't doing know. I'm the trying work. to get her in. Uh, yeah, that was get, weird. I don't know. Seem racist. Yeah, right. you just went. You're racist. No, no, I'm not racist. <laughs> every white, no, every white particle of me, I was like, no. Uh, yeah, you know? yeah. So, um, and you know, we really looked forward to having you on the show, and I just feel like you're not, you're not really into it. So, 
Okay, well, I'm just going to say that I... I am so sorry to disappoint you guys because that was, that's not. <laughs> so, <laughs> Let's do unhelpful advice. It's not going to work. I believe so, you because you got here 40 minutes early. Well, first True. of all, that's my, I'm not desperate. That was my driver's fault. <laughs> that was my driver's fault. Yeah. I was in the middle of dinner at a restaurant I'm so and I was, I couldn't even finish my fucking meal. I was like, what the fuck? I threw my shit down. <laughs> We're like, no, why is Bobby but calling this us? Was, right? this I was, was calling the them one... in emergency. What the fuck? Yeah. But this was the one I was the most excited to do. This was the podcast that I was most All excited right. to do. I believe that. I, every I time I watch you guys, you're having so much you fun. You did a great job. Thank you. Yeah, and you're fun. I think your your vibe is perfect for this mm -hmm. chemistry. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and um. Great. Yeah. What you're good at is you. I, <laughs> I nailed I, it. I love what. <laughs> Crushed it. You know how to add information. Yeah. Which is good. You won't shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> So at the end of our podcast, we do a thing called Unhelpful Advice. People email us with advice. You can help or not help, but go ahead, Gil. Unhelpful Advice with Bobby, Kalila, and Rosebud Baker. I'm a 22-year-old. So she said, uh, here's some background. I'm a 22-year-old <laughs> female, and I was adopted. It was actually an adoption that was within the state, meaning my family who adopted me lives in the same state as my biological family. When I was 19, I was able to reach out and meet all of my biological family, except for my biological father. He called me to talk for a few hours twice at most, but it seemed like he was very drunk when he did call. <laughs> then I didn't hear from him again for three years. Here's the issue. Now that I'm 22 and I saw him posted some pictures on Facebook because we're friends, I liked the pictures. He immediately DM'd me his new number and told me to call. I was so busy, I texted him and said I could text later. He went on to leave tons of voicemails that were rambling. I have no connection to him as he's never cared to reach out to me. Uh, that's why there was that three-year stint before the Facebook messages. Now he's begging for my attention, crying into my voicemails every day. I still haven't met him, and I am his youngest child. Should I block him, answer the phone, ignore it? I'm really unsure of what I should do because this feels really weird. Oof. God, that's hard. She, Oof. she had the answer earlier. You are not obligated to this person just because of biology. He sounds like a mess. Yeah. And you should probably distance yourself until. I feel like if you're immediately just, if your instant reaction is like, let me text with you later. Uh -huh. You're not even saying like, I'll call you later. So your <laughs> immediate reaction is like, I don't want to do this right now. And I don't even really want to do this fully. At all. At all. So I'm, yeah. I'll text you. So it's like your gut's just being like, ew. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably the right. Yeah. Wait, would... what was the thing that she got permission to meet everybody? Was it permission to meet everybody but him? Maybe it was like an open adoption, right? So like the information was always available to him, it seems like. Except for the his biological information? family. She was able to meet all of her biological family. Oh, she, she, she. Okay. She. And, Except uh, for... He didn't show up. I just wonder what she means by able to meet. Like, what is, if that's, like, in per because in sometimes person. that information is not um, yeah. available if it's, like, a closed adoption. Right. She had the opportunity to meet, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering if it was, like, he left his information out, but the rest of the family oh. didn't. Oh, Because that's oh. another thing where yeah. it's, like, oh, okay, so. I think that's an easy answer. That's true. He seems, he was drunk a couple times, right? Yeah. yeah. And now he's getting aggro. It's fucking weird. It seems as though... The other people in his family aren't even in contact with him from the. Also, he has an, an adoptive dad, a, a, a dad that uh, like a, adoptive a real family. yeah a real dad who showed up for him who showed up. So stick with him. I don't yeah. like that one. Give me another email. I mean, think. I mean, <laughs> we no, 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 no. care about your problem. I care about no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Give me you can't say that to an no, adoptee. No, no, no. Listen, is it a girl? Yes, it's a girl. What's her name? You, they don't. Uh, say she it? doesn't want to say her name. All right, Kimberly. Damn Kimberly, it. listen. We care. All right. Just do what we just said. Okay, next one. <laughs> wow, that was like me. That was like me trying to say how much I like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. I'm a 28-year-old male who just can't. Oh, I'm not going to do this one. I'm sorry. Why? It's another female one. Mm. How do you help him get a girl? If yeah, we, we, if we were to compete. Those, it's I almost have a question a for you guys. If we were to compete to see who could solicit a dick pic the fastest who do you think would win me i already get them all the time i have a female fiance and i still get them <laughs> really i never get them because I, I still never get to one guy them. wore our merch and was like love the merch and it's this dick <laughs> i was like bro <laughs> i'm engaged no but you do have a vibe you yeah, you've, yeah you've you have to help promote that vibe <laughs> every day i mean honestly does he seem gay to you 
He's queer baiting. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't yeah, yeah. seem gay to me, but queer baiting. That's fine. That's friendly. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if the gays. Let me are ask you. I way. didn't. I didn't. <laughs> what's what's your, honestly, Rosebud? What is your ultimate dream? Like, what would be the thing that you want to happen in your career? Let's see if we can manifest it. So I really want my own show. Um, like a sitcom? Uh, no, no, I don't want a sitcom. I want a uh, a tragic, like a a comedy that is about very dark, dark shit. Like stuff that uh. they generally are like, oh, we don't, we're not going to touch that. Oh, but, so it's, I, but it's acting. You want to do a single camera acting drama? Yeah, that's a dark comedy. Yeah, about real shit. Mm-hmm. I think that's great. Yeah, but I also um, like stand up is my number one love. So I would like that. I would like that for the experience and to to learn how to do it um, and to pay for a house, mm. you know. Um, and then I, I just want to do stand up. I want to go on the road and I want to tour um, and you're doing that do jokes. You- yeah. Yeah. But I want to do like stadiums. I want to do arenas. Really? Yeah. And you will. Yeah, I want. I think you will. I don't want that. No. No, I I, I like staying at clubs. Yeah. Do you like you don't like clubs? I I love it's clubs. So fun. They're my favorite, but you yeah. can always do clubs. I know, but it's like less pressure. I know them. I'm familiar with how it all works. Mm-hmm. Right, and it's like, um, you know, if you do a theater run, it just seems. I like just one don't that- see a lot of female comics doing like. I mean, there's more now, but I don't see a ton of female comics like doing arenas and like I want to sell out. Oh, MSG, you will. You will. You know. Yeah, I mean, you might even have to be able to do like. You and two other comic, like you, know. <laughs> you could do it. You, you know, you probably need some other names. Get some other names. No, no, wait, stop. Listen, you bring Burr, and uh, you're gonna be <laughs> yeah. set. You, Chappelle, Bill Burr. <laughs> right? I think that'll work. Yeah, Chris Rock. Yeah, I think you know, work, don't aim show. too high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, I, you could. We're do gonna it on manifest your own. this. You're gonna do it with the help of some men. No, that's, <laughs> uh, you're right. It, that's what it sounded like. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm just. No, let's backtrack. You're right. You're gonna do it on your own. Okay? <laughs> Does that make everyone feel good? Yeah. yeah. Is everyone positive on the same board? We're all we're, putting it on. Right? Listen, we're putting out in the universe. Rosebud. Okay. Absolutely. But anyway, Ro- no more emails. Rosebud Baker, right? I mean, I would love. We would love to have you and Andy on. I would love mm-hmm. to do that. Yeah. That would be so that fun. Would be so fucking. Fun. I would. I want to do a judging the fight. Who won the fights? Yes. Thing. Yeah, yeah. We've got plenty of those. <laughs> Plenty of those. Because you guys don't have guests, right, on yours? No. Why? No. Uh, because we started it during the... We started on the first day of uh, the Andy. pandemic. Yeah. And then got engaged on the third episode. And then I was like... We got back to New York and I was like... It's so easy to just do the two of yeah. us. Yeah. And it's so hard. To, it's obviously just doing a podcast is a lot of work. Mm. And uh, I was like, I don't want to add bo- like booking to the... Yeah, and you always thing. have that option for like way later. Should yeah. Get there, we know? can always bring yeah. in guests. But- I mean, it's... But, but why I'm asking is because if I'm ever in New York, I can't do your guys' podcast. It's the only fucking problem because you don't have guests. You can always come on the podcast. Yeah, but how? You never had guests. How do you know that that even works? We just have to buy another microphone or let you sit in front of no microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> no, we would love to have you. No, forget it. No, listen, Bobby. If Just you're in get New York, other people on there. If you move to New York and yeah. you're our first guest, yeah. that sets the bar at a level that I'm comfortable with. Okay. Where it's like, okay, if Bobby's coming on the podcast, then we can bring on bigger guests. And it's a honestly, mm-hmm. it's gross of me, but it's a great move on our part. It's a great move. Politically speaking. <laughs> Who's your agent? <laughs> Ryan Ferre Dooney. Oh wow. At a CAA? I'm there too. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, let's talk. Anyway, give her a round of applause. Oh. Wait, uh, your podcast name, your special, Instagram handle, everything. your special. Yeah, give us all the deets. Okay, so my podcast is called Find Your Beach Podcast. It is um, available wherever you get your podcasts. It's, great. it's also on YouTube. I hate that that picture's still up. Oh, Andy cool. designed that, and I got a, a really good artist to do it, and Why? we can't change it on iTunes. <laughs> I, mean, it, 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 I it, love it would the help. old English, though. I hate so it. Also, it would help if you guys were on the fucking thumbnail. I know. I it we are. If no, you you're look, not. We are. If you look on I Spotify, on Spotify oh, we are? are. Yeah, they updated the artwork, but iTunes, get your shit together, Apple. Apple. What the fuck? Okay. Anyway, so that's my podcast, and um, 
and it's also on YouTube. And then my special is called Whiskey Fists. They can go to YouTube, type in Rosebud Baker Whiskey Fists. You can watch the whole special on there. Please watch it. Tell everybody you know about it. Uh, it's nine years of work, and I'm exhausted. So please, <laughs> please yeah, watch the it, fucking thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I think, you know, if I do a special, mm -hmm. I think that's the road. I think so, too. It is, honestly... I thought about it and I was like, do I sell this? And then I thought, if I want people to see it, YouTube, people are going to YouTube. They're watching shit on YouTube. Yeah. And when you get nice YouTube comments, that's how you know you did good. Because nobody's, nobody's being nice on YouTube. No, never, never. Right. But I watched it and I was like, okay, I think it's a good length. I'm proud of what I did. We'll see what happens. And I've been like, obviously monitoring the comments because I'm mentally ill. And they've been very nice. And I was like, okay. How do you respond to negative ones? I respond. I literally respond to. You'll see in the comments. I'm in there. I'm. Oh, I'm you do respond like, well, like if somebody's uh, mean, you respond to those. Yeah, I'll just like be what? like, you're a piece of shit. I'm gonna shit on your chest. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just literally, just to the point where my manager is like, you look like you have too much time on your hands. You need to stop responding. Yeah, to yeah. And I'm like, I do have too much time on my hands, and yeah. that's your problem. You know? Because back in our day, they're like, don't respond. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just, I, I swallow it. Yeah. Like I read it and I just go. Ugh. No, I just respond. I'll be like, I, I literally hate you. I hope you are <laughs> crash. I wish. Oh my God. That's amazing. It, it feels good. It I, feels I good bet it, it does. Yeah. Once you respond and you go, hey. Let me respond. Okay. No, you're just okay. bad. You're saying it's bad. For you. It's, it's so positive. Like, it's what Annie Letterman says. It's like doing that is like cutting. For her, mm. like going through the comments is a form of cutting. It's like some type of. Yeah, yeah. I can't even read it. So I, yeah. I refuse. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. I mean, listen, I don't want to cut myself. It's probably better not to if you know it's not good for you. Mm -hmm. But for me, I, I, I feel energized and alive when yeah. I respond to trolls. Yeah. And I hope that I grow out of that. Yeah. Right. Well, no, not if it's like. <laughs> if it, I mean, right. Not if it genuinely brings you energy, and if it doesn't yeah. take it's away. It's not good from energy. Your, it's I think just it's like, negative though, because it's like what they're saying isn't real, mm -hmm. right? It's some guy in a somewhere, right? Right? You don't even know who it is. It could be a comedian that w you see every day. It could you know be your I mean? grandfather. Yeah, it could be Jim it Baker. Could. In in which case, I'm literally responding to him on some level every time. <laughs> yeah. So I think there's like, uh, I get fueled from it, not in a good way, but in the same way that you would get fueled from like doing meth, you know? Yeah. You're like awake. Yeah, there's comments on there that are so mean that I'll be like, I'm not, I, I just won't touch that. Right. Because I know that if they respond after, okay. it's going to ruin my day. Yeah, yeah. So those people I just put out of my mind. But the people who will say something where I'm like, I can find a funny angle to respond to this. Yeah. Right. I generally engage with those people. Because, That's like a layup, right? Yeah. I see this a lot. Like, like Che will do this online where he'll like, he'll respond to people because I can tell he's having fun with it. Yeah. Right. You know? And so I, I kind of, um. At least I think he is. I don't fucking know. But yeah. I generally tend to have fun with it. Okay. Yeah. Just let you have fun. All right, anyway, thank you. Bye. <laughs>